Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video! Look at this! Iron Gate has really done it this time. They've given us so many ways to customize our Valheim experience. Let's break it down so you understand exactly what they did. Worlds, not your character, and not your game, and no dev commands, worlds themselves now have settings. These are all old worlds, and you can tell because they're blank. They're vanilla, original. Whereas this one, called the creative world, says hammer, right? So that means that this is a creative world in hammer mode where you can basically build anything. Check out my video all about that. Click this world modifiers button. And you can edit this anytime you want. So this is my creative world, right? But I can just click reset to normal and then done and then boom. Anytime I log into this, it's just a regular world. You basically have two parts. This upper part that says easy, hard, hardcore, casual, hammer mode, immersive, and reset to normal. These are just kind of shortcuts. These are all the actual settings. So we can see that there are five sliders which have a varying amount of strength or intensity, right? And then there's four toggles. No build cost, player-based raids, no map, and passive enemies. Each time you click on one of these, easy, it'll set the toggles to what they call easy. And hard, it'll change those. Hardcore, ridiculous, right? Immersive, its own thing. So these are just suggestions or play styles that they've recommended. But you're free to customize it however you want. Now, comment below and let me know what are you going to do with these settings. I'd love to see how you guys are going to play this because honestly, there are hundreds of different combinations for this stuff. I mean, even if you make it hardcore mode, you can do hardcore mode but with portals, right? And the way hardcore mode works is once you die, your body gets deleted. <laughs> they, they took the whole your gravestone disappearing thing and ran with it because in hardcore mode, that's just how it's supposed to work. But if you don't like that, you can customize it. And that's the beauty of this. There's literally hundreds of different ways that you can customize your Valheim experience. So if you're on Xbox and you haven't played Valheim that much, honestly, don't even worry about this. Just play the game. It's a beautiful, awesome game. These settings aren't really for new players. They're to make the game more replayable. It's a beautiful game, and I really love it. Consider checking out my tutorial all about setting up your own dedicated Valheim server as joining your server to play with your friends, and you see that somebody has already built something. It just does something to you, and you want to build. You want to do more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.